Greetings, everyone. Raji Narayan Singh here, transgender activist, author, spiritualist, actress, show host, reality TV personality, and outreach advocate for TransSocial, a trans-led, trans-focused organization. So I'm coming to you from my very humble home here in South Florida, USA. And oh my God, y'all. I thought by now we'd be seeing the light at the end of the tunnel with this darn COVID-19. Oh my God, really in November when Thanksgiving, an American holiday. Oh, and Canada has one too. Uh, but I think theirs is in October. Anyway, when Thanksgiving was approaching, I thought, wow, like, you know, like finally we're getting to the end of this and boom, Omicron. <laughs> And let me tell you, first you heard on the news, oh, there was this variant out of South Africa and, you know, different countries were starting to close their borders. My mom said, believe me, it's already here. And boy, was she right. Three weeks later, Omicron is like all around the world uh, in every darn state in this country. I mean, Omicron spread in the entire United States. Uh, within three weeks. So now we're back to kind of like where we were, things closing down and, you know, the mask thing. I was still wearing my mask like when I went into crowded spaces, you know, but like, you know, the mask thing is really enforced and um, I guess it depends on where you are. <laughs> Some places here in South Florida, uh, not so much. But anyway, um, and then, you know, uh, just the cancellation of things. Uh, I was supposed to be going to our state capital here in Florida, Tallahassee, in about a week. I was supposed to go uh, for Lobby Day to meet with some of the lawmakers. It was going to be a group of us transgender people going up. Uh, we were flying up and uh, canceled cancel because of Omicron. So, you know, one thing, well, no, I think, I think this whole COVID-19 virus, you know, whether it's Delta, Omicron, whatever. And the thing about viruses, just uh, <laughs> while we're on the topic is they don't want to die either. Okay. You know how many, many of us, we were trying to live viruses are trying to live too. And so that's why they continue to mutate. The blessing is that Omicron mutated where it's more contagious and even a little resistant to the vaccines, but thank God it didn't make itself deadlier because, oh my God, I think a lot of people would just be losing their mind right now. Delta was horrific enough, you know, and so many people have died. A lot of people lost their lives from this um, and been sick. Oh, God. I'll just say this. I thank God for my vaccines and booster because I think um, I might have ended up in the hospital. Anyway, uh, thank God I'm healthy. Yay. But what I think that Omicron did for me, and I actually think for a lot of people, is it affirmed that this life's journey, there's really nothing set in stone. I mean, the only thing I guess we all have to do is die. Um, but like, you know, I mean, I knew it before the virus. I think all of us know it on some level, but this really brought it home for me. I mean, when uh, in 2020, March of 2020, I had like a number of things that I was scheduled to do for the spring. Boom, all of it just canceled. And for a lot of us, our socialization really tapered down. I mean, we there was very little socializing going on, like in regards to like getting together with people and different types of events. And so, for a lot of us, we were forced to just be home and be home with self. And really have to be okay with self and loving oneself. 
Because, you know, it's easy to get so consumed in life and, you know, all of the labels that you are, people put on you, you, you give yourself, um, you know, the different things, uh, groups and uh, different things that you belong to. And then when you're home and like, all of that has kind of been shut down in a way. It's you <laughs> with yourself. And for me, I, I just made me stop and look at my life, my life's journey and um, the things that I've done. And beyond that, like getting to the core of who I am and being being able to like truly embrace that and truly love that. Um, you know, I think it's a lot, it's, it's easy for a lot of us to just like, you know, there's so many different facades uh, that we can put on and um, I'm not saying that I put on facades per se. I mean, I always have tried to pretty much live authentically, but, you know, when it comes down to the nitty gritty, it's just, um, it's that moment where you really have to be able to look at yourself in the mirror and whether people are giving you accolades, you know, or not, whether you're at, you're at some event and you're speaking or you're out and about with a group of friends socializing or whether any of that is going on, still be okay with yourself, with who you are. And, um, hey, listen, I'm a work in progress. I think probably I would have to say that in this moment, I've loved my, I love myself more than I ever have. And um, I'm happy that I can sit here and say that. But that doesn't mean it's 100%. And I think that that's something that each and every one of us really needs to work on. Because, God, we're going through this life and there'll be a time where you have to leave this physical world. And you... Only leave with yourself. No one else is coming with you. Um, you know, you leave with yourself. And so, I mean, I know there's, there's accidents and people die together, but you know what I'm saying. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's your essence that goes and, um, you know, truly, God, truly be, being able to go Knowing that, you know, you accept your, who you are, you know, your essence. So, um, I just, I've been thinking about this a lot lately and I, I wanted to do a video on it. And, um, I guess this is an opportunity for us, you know, there's a saying, I think it's from the Bible, out of evil cometh good. And I've seen that in my life where when something quote unquote bad happens, negative happens, um, there are oftentimes opportunities that come from it and blessings that come from it. And you all know <laughs> that's that my life has been a testament to that, okay? Um, all of the different things I went through and, uh, you know, with, with it just naming one thing, my black market injections, and how that then led to so many blessings and opportunities for me. So yeah, out of evil cometh good. And I think that this uh, COVID-19 virus has really given people around the world an opportunity to stop, to look around, to go within, and to decide what are really the important things in your life. Like what's really important to you as a person? What are your priorities? Where do you place your priorities? And, and I think a lot of people re 
prioritized. <laughs> they were putting priority on on things and in and, and areas that weren't really uh, important. They realized that. And I know for me, I had a lot of revelations. And so uh, if anything, this is like one of the blessings that definitely came out of COVID-19. Uh, and hopefully we will soon see the light at the end of the tunnel. I don't know what, what's coming next. You know, like I said, these viruses, they try to continue living. But I think if we just go forward and have faith in the goodness of existence, have faith in that. Yeah, there's a lot of bad. There's a lot of negative things and, and evil. But being able to just truly have faith in goodness and maybe that's what we'll get a lot of in our journey like that's that's the thing that we'll get more of in our journey all right i guess i'll shut up i had to express myself and i want to thank everyone for your love and support Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, comment, share, all that jazz. And on that note, I want to wish everyone love, happiness, peace, good health, prosperity, and many wonderful blessings. Bye! It's all about the Rashi Lishes! <laughs>